to the fullest extent of their capabilities. Uh, they just don't move at the same pace that we in uh, normal business enterprises move. Nobody will make a decision. Nobody will take the bull by the horns and say, okay, go ahead. Everybody says, well, we have to ask this fellow or that fellow. I mean, the consequence, it just doesn't work. We hadn't been morally involved, you might say. Uh, economically, we've made a great, uh, we're making a contribution that I think is over and far over and above beyond the call of duty, shall we say. We uh, certainly uh, have been put to task uh, about for about about 90% of the reasons we've been taken to task. If not, we've had no, no control over, nothing to do with it, except all we've been asked to do is pay the bill. And uh, I think uh, I think a, a sensible thing to do would have or would have been to pull out a long time ago. But uh, we just felt a commitment to the community that we that we, we said we'd do something. We we're going to do it. They're going to put a big building. They're going to put a nice building up and knock down the other ones and take all the bricks and stuff away. Of course, you got to take all your stuff out.
You have, you have the alternative of saying, well, we, I think this should be changed in this way or that way. Well, first of all, you run a number, I mean, first of all, you tear that places down and you make a whole lot of promises. Okay, everybody's all enthused about all of this, and so when it comes time for everybody to move back in there, you show them a whole lot of rules and say they can't do so and so. Well, I, I would submit that in any instance, whether it's uh, family, church, school, or whatever situation that it might be, there, of course, uh, of necessity, must be rules and regulations. Uh, when we use the public highways, for instance, uh, we have to be subject to rules and regulations. Uh, so, for the good of the total community, I think it's necessary that uh, rules and regulations be had and strictly enforced.